What is up, Gemini? Gemini. Mm -mm. Gemini. Mm -mm. Welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at your love life. Let's see what may be coming, okay? Uh, anything being said here could be swapped out, interchangeable, vice versa. All right, let's get it cracking. <laughs> What's coming to Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. <coughs> Gemini. Okay. Who's coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. 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 <clears throat> Gemini, you have a Knight of Wands here. Who's coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. Six of coins. Okay, Jim. <clears throat> so I'm getting you could have a Sagittarius coming towards you. <clears throat> Who's coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. Yeah, so you could have a Sagittarius coming towards you. <clears throat> Somebody wants to come see you. Somebody wants to visit you. The lovers, the nine of cups. Okay, yeah, I'm getting strong Sagittarius, Pisces even, another Gemini. <clears throat> I get that this could definitely be someone who is long distance. This freak wants to come see you, Gemini, okay? Yeah, this freak wants to come see you. <clears throat> I feel like this is someone that you, at the end of the day, you know, you do feel this connection with, but I'm wondering if it's just like sexual for some of you, okay? I feel like you're really confused when this person does come towards you. You're confused, you're trying to figure out what is their intention, what it is that they actually want from you, okay? Sagittarius, Pisces. Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, so let's 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 figure this out. I mean, the Knight of Wands typically, obviously, is like a player's type of person, okay, or someone who, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, is not too fond of commitment. It can also be talking about somebody who is perhaps coming to see you, okay. This could be someone who's physically trying to travel your way. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a player, but maybe they want to come see you. Okay, but use your discernment to um, acquire, Aquarius. You don't want to play? Use, use your discernment, Gemini. I feel like this is someone that you didn't really want to talk to at first. Or like maybe you're mad at them or something they were offering you didn't want it in the past. You probably still don't necessarily want it. Okay. So whoever this freak is, they're definitely coming at you looking for a good time. This could be a Scorpio. They are looking for a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. Six of Pentacles for a Gemini in love. <clears throat> and it feels like this is some freak who has breadcrumbed you, okay, in the past. Or you feel like you weren't getting as much as you wanted out of this person. So you're definitely have your guard up when this freak comes around. Yeah, this Nine of Wands keeps showing up. Whoever this freak is, they were a player in the past. And they could potentially still be one. <clears throat> Obviously. Um, the Temperance card for uh, Gemini in Love. Temperance. Okay, so this is some freak that you already feel is very selfish, okay? Or you feel like they come, you know, towards you for their own, yeah, for their own selfish needs or some shit like that, okay? Yeah, I feel like you've been patient with this person, but this is the type of freak that they definitely want some of, your, some of that loving, though. They want the goods. Whoever this person is, they do want the goods. I feel like you're trying to figure out, like, 
are you just dreaming? Like, are you just delulu with, when it comes to this person? Or does this person really care about you? And do they really want something serious with you? Because I feel like you do see a future with this freak. You see something with them or you've seen something with them. But I don't know. I think this person is giving the bare minimum, to be very honest with you. They're giving you the bare minimum. Yeah, it does feel like this is some freak who's not committal and some of you walked away. <clears throat> you're like, look, if you're not looking for what I'm looking for, I'm going to just have to get away from you. Three of Wands for Gemini in love. Some of you, maybe you've been waiting to hear from this person. And then when you finally hear from this freak, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Or, you, or you've been wanting to see them. This person really wants to see you too. I feel like they've been having someone, okay, yeah. I do feel like there is this energy of being really needy right now. So this freak really feels like they need you. Um, <clears throat> why they need you? They probably need some sexual healing, Gemini, okay? I'm getting this freak. <laughs> this freak needs sexual healing, okay? And that could be what their deal is. What do you want to tell Gemini about this love situation coming towards them, please? What do you want to tell Gemini? About this person coming towards them in love, Gemini. <clears throat> religious factors. There could be religious factors in a situation. Calling in your soulmate. Perhaps you do feel like this person is your soulmate. But it does feel like your soulmate. It's either distance is a factor. Uh, and or this person is not that committal. Okay. They could be even coming in for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, but they're not that committal. Um, but the lovers doesn't necessarily say that they don't have any true feelings for you, okay? Uh, I, do, I think they want a relationship with you, but it could be any kind of relationship, you know, sexual, friendship, yes, actual relationship. But I'm not going to lie, Gemma, I think this freak is coming in for their own personal satisfaction and their own gain right now. They, they, you know, <clears throat> they want some of the goods. They want the goods. Um, what do you want Gemini to know about this love situation? What's important? So you guys have chemistry. There is obviously attraction. You know, these things are definitely there. The attraction you feel is mutual. But you need to listen to your intuition. So this freak could even tell you that they want to go with the flow and them telling they want to go with the flow is really them saying they're not looking for anything right now, but if your name comes up, they'll give you a call. You know, that's what men the jobs and this stuff do that crazy shit. Okay. Self-care, clear your energy, your energy field, focus on yourself. Don't dismiss the red flags. Yeah. <clears throat> so Gemini, yeah, this is some freak who's definitely coming in for their own personal satisfaction here. Tell me more. It's coming to Gemini in love. Or maybe if you do want to be with this person, um, just understand that some of you, yeah, some of you, like I said, I'm not going to just say for the whole collective that this person is just a player. They don't give a damn, okay? It could really be distance that's in the way of you and this person right now, okay? Um, physical distance. So you do have the... Um, Death card, Scorpio energy. So this could be a Scorpio that's coming towards you. They're coming in flirting very heavy with you. Okay. They're coming in flirting with you. And you're wondering, is this a high risk, low reward? You're confused. You're also very afraid of this freak. Yeah, you're afraid that this person's lying. They're up to no good or that their intentions aren't pure. I don't like this at all, Gemini. I'm sorry. I don't like... Um, <clears throat> I don't like this. You're going to have to be very discerning when it comes to this person because I feel like they could come in and they could sell you a dream. They could say a lot of things, but you need to make sure their actions are, you know, um, coinciding with whatever the freak they want to tell you. Soulmate or not. Okay. So that is what I'm getting for you here, Jim. <clears throat> This freak knows that you're not, you're you're irreplaceable, okay? The way you love can never be matched, and this person knows that. 
even the way you, you know, you, you sex them down or stuff like that, they know they can't replace that. I'm getting some of them tried and they can't. That's why they keep coming back to you. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. This freak wants forgiveness. Escape. I left when things got hard. Okay, so this freak uh, daydreams about you. I'm always longing for you. So this person's always longing for you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let me know, Gemini, what is going on down in the uh, comments, okay? Would I trust this person? No. I don't think you can trust their intentions right now because they look to be really sneaky um, and, yeah, I'm not feeling it, okay? Thank you for being here. Talk to you all soon.